What you're looking at here is something called the two-line MACD. It's got a MACD line, it's got a signal line, and it's got a separate histogram. Now, MetaTrader doesn't come with a two-line MACD. They have something that's a little bit different. Hi there, my name is Russ Horn, and I am going to show you how to build a two-line MACD using the MetaTrader 4 tools that we have at our disposal. So we've got the two-line MACD. And like I said, MetaTrader doesn't come with a two-line MACD. So I am going to use what we do have and kind of jerry-rig it so that we do get all the same information. A lot of traders like this histogram part of the two-line MACD, and that's not available in the MetaTrader version. So I am going to show you what indicator we can use to accommodate that. So first of all, I'm going to add the MACD that we do have. So we'll go to oscillators, click on MACD. It's got the standard settings, we'll go 12, 26, and nine. Uh, colors, the default color is a silver or gray color, so I'm gonna make it blue, and the signal line is red. So this is the MACD. And what we're looking at here is the blue histogram, the blue bars. They are going to simulate this blue MACD line. So the bars on the MetaTrader 4 are the MACD line. This is what we're looking at as the actual MACD. The signal line is still the signal line. So I'm going to make that solid, just so that it looks the same. So now we've still got that nine SMA signal line. The difference between the MACD and the signal line itself is where these histograms come to play. And a lot of traders really do like the histograms. We look for um, a failing momentum, a resumption of momentum. We're looking for divergence. You can use these histograms for all kinds of things, but it does become very difficult trying to sort of deduce the space between the moving average and the signal line and seeing whether or not we've got some failing momentum with the size changes or whatever. We don't get a clear picture like we do with the histogram. But MetaTrader offers a tool called OSMA, uh, the oscillator of moving averages. So we're going to add that indicator. So that will be the moving average of oscillator, but it's OSMA, O-S-M-A. So we'll add that and you'll notice it has the same MACD type of settings, 12, 26, and nine. So the colors, silver by default, Let's make them red so they're a little bit different, thicken it up, and we'll hit OK. So now what we have is the histogram part of the two-line MACD represented by the OSMA. You can see here OSMA, and we have the actual MACD itself with this upper or this middle one here. The blue bars gives us the MACD line, and the OSMA gives us the... MACD histogram on the two line. As long as those settings are the same, you're going to have a very direct representation of a two line MACD. So I can get rid of this and we can see at this point now that the momentum or the trend is strong because we have a uh, histogram bars above the zero line. The trend is up and moving well. And we can see from the OSMA here, where the momentum is starting to weaken and then regain itself. So with this indicator, I'm going to set my red to none, and that gets rid of the signal line. Don't really need it. It's only there to produce the OSMA. So with these two indicators now, these two histograms, we have all the information that a regular two-line MACD will offer us. So if you're looking to trade the resumption of uh, momentum. First of all, we're looking for trend direction. And in here, we have the trend direction is up. We're looking for the OSMA to get below its zero line and then cross above. And we can do that right in here. So we know that the trend is up and we have some gaining market momentum on this candle. And of course, the market takes off. And you can do that to the downside as well. We have in this section here, a market that is down. And with the OSMA, we have the pop back up because of market weakness, momentum weakness. And then from there, I'll get rid of these lines. Be there. We can resume that trend on this candle here when the OSMA pops below its zero line. Now we can add a couple of levels. If the 
histogram is difficult to see whether it's above or below, what I'll do is take my horizontal line and plop it in there. I will change the color on uh, the common. I'll make this one red. I will make it a solid line. And under parameters, I'll make sure it's zero. And then OK. So now I've got a solid line at zero, so I can better see if it's above or below. And I'll do the same thing with the uh, Osma. Horizontal line. This time I'm going to make it at zero. I'm going to change the color to blue. And we are good to go. So I want to make sure I double click to deselect it. And that way I'm not going to accidentally move the line around. So here we have the zero line. We can see whether the price or the uh, histogram is above or below. Again, the zero line, we can see if the histogram is above or below. And we have all the information that a regular two line MACD would give us.